So, of course, I'm preparing for a talk that I'm giving today at around two online. And somebody arrives up and says, there's a yo stuck. So I'm gonna have to go unstick a yo. We all know what yo that is that's stuck. Down there somewhere, I think. Now, because there's lambs lying right there. Yep. Only one guess as to who it is. Well, she wasn't stuck there all that long. There's only one bit of shit that she did. You're so bold. I now have to get back to work. All the way up the hill there. Tiny lambs calling for its mother. Being very silly. And then it settled down to eat. <coughs> Loads of green grass. Yet she still has to go and put her head through the fence. Okay. Hey you, why don't you have some control over your mother? Stop her getting her head stuck in the fence. People think I'm mean to my sheep and don't pull them out of fences. But when they are regularly putting their head into fences, it's not nah. like I don't pull it out several times a day. Yeah, you tell your mother that. Don't tell me. Your mother, she's the one who's the silly Aegis getting stuck all the time. <laughs> Little bit's got an itchy bump. This is the great oak tree. So you can see this massive tree is itchy post and a nice place to lie down. Sheltered from whatever you want to be sheltered from. Lying under the branches. It's a brilliant tree. It's been here longer than our family, so that's over 200 years old at least. More of the gang, more of the gang now under the tree. How are you, little bit? You're at least not getting stuck in the fence anymore. Unlike a certain person right there hungrily eating the green grass that's in the field that she was missing because she had her head stuck in the fence. How are you? Yeah. Oh, Belch, how pleasant of you. How so pleasant of you.
So itchy. I've got to get back to work, <coughs> writing. You're beastly. Always getting your head stuck in the fence. Right pain in the arse, you. Very wary of sheep. <laughs> 